I am Imran. We will doing uh, question one. Okay, let's go to the question one. The question asks for the diameter. We will use the bisection method to solve this question. Firstly, I will take all the information from the question and write down on the paper. Then, I will rearrange the equation until I get FD equal to 0. Substitute the value 4D and 10 into the equation and we will get FD equals to 320D minus 16D square root 400 minus D power of 2. Next, I will complete the question 1 by using Microsoft Excel to do by session method. So the last answer will be 2.4903 and the conclusion R is bigger than small r. Hi, my name is Elwin and I'll be doing question 2A today. The question requires us to sketch the balloon's trajectory graph in terms of y-x. So as you can see, the question gives us two equations. x equals to at and y equals to bt squared. To form a graph, we need only one equation. So using equation 1, we make t in terms of x, which is equation 3. Next, subbing equation 3 into equation 2. To form y equals px square over ax square. This is a quadratic graph. And since a is greater than 0 and p is greater than 0, it's, it is a positive graph and it is sketched as shown. Next, question 2. Using vector function, we have two equations x and y. We sub it in as at and pt square. Next, differentiate the function. After that, we place the function into distance formula to find the magnitude of the fun vector function. Last but not least, by using the above formula, cos theta equals to u dot v over magnitude u dot v, we can find the angle in between velocity and x axis. Following the question, we can find the velocity by differentiating velocity function rt and x-axis equals to i plus 0j. Next, use the velocity and x-axis value to sub into the cos theta equation to find the angle between v and x. After subbing in the velocity and x-axis value into the equation, we simplify the equation. And after simplifying the equation, we finally move the cos from left side to the right side, making it inverse cos to find the theta. Hi, I am Wafi. I will be doing question 2B. We need to find the velocity, speed, and acceleration values. The values of those three functions is obtained when we substitute the value 0 in each tree. Velocity is obtained from the differentiation of the vector r and the velocity is equal to negative 2 sine ti plus 3 cos tj while speed is the magnitude of function velocity and it is equal to 3 and acceleration is the differentiation of the function velocity we will get the acceleration is equal to negative 2 0 to graph the path of the particle, we take the position RT equal to 2 cos TI plus 3 sine TJ. We write the Pythagorean identity cos squared T plus sine 2 T equal to 1. We will get the cos T equal to X over 2 and sine T equal to Y over 3. The vertices on X axis and Y axis is 2, 0 and 0, 3 simultaneously. It is obtained by taking A and V values on the parametric equation. Factors V and A are plot as shown. V is doing upwards and A is going to the left.